So the United Nations Climate Change Conference of Parties COP28 has started and as we know this time also prior to the event a number of reports uh, for example uh, emission gaps report uh, they, uh, such type of reports were published. I found one report titled Environmental Rule of Law Tracking Progress and Charting Future Directions published by or released by the United Nations Environment Program UNAP. Uh, it, it, it sheds light on dynamic evolution of uh, environmental legal frameworks. Uh, well, it, it says that the concept of environmental rule of law has also found resonance in national courts. In 2019, the Supreme Court of India extensively discussed the importance of environmental rule of law when determining that the approval process for setting up a new airport did not meet procedural requirements. The court noted that environmental impact assessment ignored significant information and concerns raised in the public consultation were not accurately reported or addressed. They it was in the matter of Aroskar versus Union of India 2019. The recent United Nations Environment Program UNEP, UNEP report builds upon the first global report on environmental rule of law in 2019 offering key recommendations to governments as if they navigate landscape shaped by technological innovations, heightened public concerns over climate change and the ascendancy of racial and social justice movements. What are the key findings and trends? I have made it into three headings. One is impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, second is recognition of environmental rights and the third one is specialized environmental enforcement. Now under the impact of COVID-19 pandemic the report highlights the pandemic prompted 46 countries to ease environmental requirements to support industries. It happened in India also. Virtual engagements increased but traditional means of civic engagement faced challenges impacting conservation efforts and vulnerable remote communities. Justice systems in various countries including Ukraine, Turkey and Switzerland became more transparent through virtual platforms and Talking online about the recognition of environmental rights, the report points out, Environmental rights, including the right to clean, healthy, and sustainable environment, are now internationally With recognized. 169 countries recognizing or acknowledging them at a national or subnational level. Emerging rights holders include future generations, rights of nature under discussion in 30 countries, and considerations for environmental defenders in 48 countries. The report highlights that in 2020, the Punjab and Haryana High Court of India held Sukhna Lake to be a living entity with rights of a legal person. And the, the matter was in court versus Chandigarh administration. In terms of the specialized environmental enforcement, the report says specialized environmental courts and tribunals in 67 countries opened their doors to foreign plaintiffs facing rights violations by transnational entities. The uh, 39 countries incorporated environmental law into their judicial training with nine making it mandatory component. The report states that India's National Green Tribunal Act, NGT Act has jurisdiction over older environmental legislations but lacks jurisdiction over more recently adopted legislation such as Wildlife Act and does not have criminal jurisdiction to decide on environmental crimes. The report also states that in a very few cases, countries allow courts themselves to 
initial proceedings sua sponte or sua moto meaning on their own motion for example in 2021 the indian supreme court found that national green tribunal has so motor powers to bring a suit pursuant to their uh, to the mandate to its mandate under the national green tribunal act and article 21 of the which safeguards the right to life municipal corporation of greater mumbai versus ankita 2021 the report says that in some countries including india the judiciary has developed innovative tools to monitor the implementation of judicial orders for example the introduction of continuing mandamus enables courts to closely monitor the progress of implementation a continuing mandamus is a mechanism whereby parties provide a report or reports to the court on compliance of its orders in recent years Courts have granted more diverse remedies for environmental harms. This expansion of remedies can enable better compensation, remediation and private and public sector action. Establishing adequate remedies provides incentives for compliance with environmental laws and increases the perception of fairness and legitimacy of the report courts. also deliberates on technology, role of technology, technology including satellites, drones, AI and citizen science revolutionizes environmental enforcement, enhancing the detection of illegal activities. Challenges arise concerning public participation, rights protection and bridging the digital divide. The report states women as champions women emerge as frontline champions of environmental rule of law enduring harassment and persecution talking about the social reckoning on climate change the report talks that the climate justice intertwines the environmental rule of law driven by protest movements in over 4000 cities globally addressing the link between race and environmental and there are some recommendations as well one is standardization and tracking advocate for uh, a standardized environmental rule of law indicators to monitor progress and address challenges then guidance in emergencies develop guidance on environmental rule of law during emergencies including conflicts and pandemics then integration of social justice emphasizes the integration of social justice in environmental institutions considering dis uh, disproportionate impacts adopting proactive strategies and ensuring private entities adhere to environmental justice in technology principles. policy interface the report deliberates that to establish a technology policy interface uh, fostering collaboration between the technology sector and environmental policy makers it also points out some areas of future research gender's role in environmental rule of law applicability in areas beyond national jurisdiction challenges of emerging technologies rule of law, environment in fragile and conflict affected settings civil disobedience in face of stagnant policies and worsening environmental the crisis calls for constructed global efforts to standardize indicators integrate social justice and leverage technology offering a comprehensive roadmap for navigating the evolving landscape landscape of environmental rule of law before i close i would like to tell you that we have a website enviroannotations.com please visit the website enviroannotations.com or you can also visit one of website enviroannotations.substack.com and you can avail a paid subscription so that you can stay updated thank you very much please share your valuable comments on this video in the comment section and don't forget to hit the like button it costs nothing to you but encourages us tremendously and also share this video with your friends and colleagues and if you have not subscribed
so far to this channel, please do it now. You can also share your stories, news, research synopsis, your articles for publication in our print version and share your videos for this YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching this. We will come back with another episode for you. Till then, do take care of yourself and your environment.